In this video, I'll be showing you a practice problem involving specific latent heat of a substance. In this case, we're going to calculate the uh, time that it would take to defrost a pizza in a microwave. Here's the problem. A 0.72 kilowatt microwave is used to defrost a pizza of mass 0.160 kilograms and specific latent heat of 345 kilojoules per kilogram. How long should the pizza be defrosted? This problem is not extremely difficult. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is make this uh, very clear. This is power. So that is um, no different than saying 720 watts. You can keep it in kilowatts and convert it directly to kilojoules per second, but most people are more familiar with watts, knowing that a watt is actually a joule per second. So this value here, I want you to think of as how much energy can the microwave deliver every second? The first thing we're going to do is think about how much energy is required to melt or sorry, thaw this pizza. Okay. We want to defrost this pizza. So I'm going to use my equation for latent heat, uh, where the energy required to, uh, this here is energy, the energy required for some mass to be defrosted in this case uh, is given by mass times the value uh, for specific latent heat. Once we fill these values in, you'll see that this equation is very easy to use. So how much energy does that pizza need to absorb in order to defrost? Let's fill in what we know. We know that the pizza has a mass of 0 0.160 kg. And we have a, a value for L because we know how much energy would be required to melt, or sorry, to defrost one kilogram. So that is how many kilojoules per one kilogram. That will give us, uh, solving this will give us our total value and my kilograms cancel out. So I then am left with the amount of energy that this pizza will basically absorb while it is defrosting. Let me punch that into my calculator. And I end up with 55.2, and that is in kilojoules. So now we know we have um, the um, energy required that the pizza must absorb to defrost, and we also have the amount of energy that the microwave can deliver every second. So this becomes a fairly straightforward problem. We know the total amount of energy that we're trying to reach, and we know the amount of energy that the microwave can deliver each second. And we're trying to figure out basically how many seconds. That's my Q value. And here I have a power rating. I have a power rating of this microwave. Well, power is just equal to energy divided by time. You could use E instead of Q if you prefer, E for energy. Okay, power is equal to energy over time. I am trying to solve this T value. I'm trying to find the amount of time I should defrost the pizza. So I'm going to rearrange this formula and I end up with energy divided by the power rating of this microwave. So let's fill in what we know. Okay, and all you have to do is be careful that you're in joules and joules per second or kilojoules and kilojoules per second. I'm going to put everything in joules, but you can do it in kilojoules as well. So I have 55,200 joules. That's from this value. And divided by the power rating of this microwave, joules per second. Okay, and you should get your value. Punch that into your calculator, 55200 divided by 720, and you get roughly, 
I'm rounding because we're just going to go to the nearest second in this example. Um, and I do get a value of 77 seconds. So that is how long it would take to defrost this mass of pizza, given that the physical property of this pizza, it has a specific latent heat of 345. Uh, and we know that the microwave has a power rating of 0.72 kilowatts.